Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. In this video, we move and drag images over the Google document. Moving images in Google Docs is your common drag and drop. And I'd say this video is more about other things that you need to know about inserting and moving images in Google Docs. Nothing really to talk about here. I'm going to quickly drop the image from my computer into the document. And when it's here, we can decide how we want to place the image on the doc. First of all, exactly moving the image in the doc is performed simply. Put your mouse cursor over the image. Press hold on it and move it over the current page to where you want it to be. And release the button. Or you can move it to another page, which means once again press holding the image by dragging it up or down to the next page. Or doing that both with scrolling the mouse wheel up or down. The display will also follow your mouse pointer. And this blue cursor line will indicate where it will be put. And releasing. There we go. Now, let's talk about how the image is placed on the page in regard to the text. By default, the image is inserted in line with the text, like it's a part of it. And if we put it like this, it will break the sentence and the paragraph. That certainly does not look good. It does only when inserted properly, on an empty line like this. Although, there are other ways to make it look good. And the next one is when the text is wrapped around the image. Select the picture, that will create this little menu here below. And we need the second button, Wrap Text. And it will literally make the text wrap around the image no matter how you place it. Left or right, or straight in the middle. That will kind of free the image. You can put it anywhere, regardless of lines and text. And we're allowed to adjust how far the text can be pushed away from the picture by adjusting the margin. So we press on the image and on this menu press the margin button. And let me just press these descending. As you can see, the distance of how far the picture is pushed away from the text is determined by the selected margin. And then you can select the position of the image, which is Move with Text, Fixed Position and Access Advanced Features. The third button, Break Text, pressing it, means that the image will take the entire line of its size on the page not letting any text get left or right to it, breaking the text with itself. Basically, this is what this option is. And you have the same margin settings and the position options. The next one is behind text, which obviously just puts the picture behind the text. And it doesn't anymore break the text in any way. And the last one is in front of text which is just the opposite, and doesn't break the text as well. And you can access all these options at once if you select the image, go to the rightmost icon with three dots, press it, and select All Image Options. Then we'll open this Image Customization menu on the right. And here with these unfolding items, you can select the text wrapping method and create custom margins. So is the position on the next menu. And even extra features like the size and rotation on top. Recolor on the bottom. And the image adjustments. 100 more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodax.com following the link below the video.
like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.